Hello, fellow 3D printers. This is the first lesson of my Blender for 3D printing class that I wanted to share with you. And you can take the full lesson on my website where there's discounts. And you can really just take your 3D design game up. Or maybe you just wanted to start. This is your chance. Uh, but yeah, it really just teaches you the basic 3D printing workflow in Blender 2.8 beta. So if you enjoy this, go ahead and check into that. And let's go ahead and jump into the training. In this lesson, we're going to install Blender 2.8 Beta on a Mac or Apple computer. So what you want to do is go to your browser of choice. I'm just going to click on Chrome here. And then just type in Blender Beta. And that should get you there. And there you go, Blender 2.8. Go ahead and click on that. Or you can just go to blender.org forward slash two dash eight. And then you'll get to the new screen. And I really want to just teach y'all Blender because I think it's really cool. And it's got a new facelift. They've added a lot of new features. So you can check out all the new things they've added. Uh, but I wanted to teach y'all on what's coming. You know, I didn't want to teach you the old thing. So let's download Blender 2.8 beta. And then it should automatically recognize that you're on a Mac. If not, just click on Mac OS and then choose your little guy here accordingly. One is stable and one is beta. Make sure, you know, this is not 2.8. Uh, this is, I guess, an older one. But we want the beta. So go ahead and make sure you click on beta 2.8. And then it should download. So it's only going to take 45 minutes <laughs> uh, but it should only take a few minutes to download and then we'll install it. If you already know how to install programs on your computer, go ahead and skip this lesson and we'll jump into Blender. If you don't, stick around and we will teach you how to do that. Once the download is complete, you can double click it or click on this little arrow and show in Finder. And then you can double click on the zip file. And that will unzip and extract all that information and voila, you'll have a new Blender folder. Go ahead and double click that folder. And in the folder, you should see an application file. Looks like it's about 363 megs. And you should see the Blender logo. So double click on that. And it's going to verify. You may have to put in your account password. I'm using my lover lady's computer here, this old Mac Mini. So we'll put in the password, and then that should let it fully install. Uh, sometimes, some Macs will have a little feature. So if you go to the Apple up here in the top left, go to System Preferences, System Preferences, and then you can see the same little icon, the Security and Preferences. Click on that. Aha! Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So you can unlock this little lock and you can allow apps to download from anywhere or Mac, Apple Store and identify. Sometimes it'll be a little link here that says allow for Blender. Uh, you can just click that and it should allow you to go through. Um, but it looks like it's wanting to go through. So we'll open and Blender should open. We'll check down here. looks like it's thinking. Another quick tip is just to right click or command click and go to options and keep it in the dock. That way you can easily find it. And here we are, Blender version 2.8 beta. So this is the new one and we will do some 3D designing. If you are on a PC computer, you can go to the previous video. And if you're on a Linux computer, I'll leave a link so you can learn how to install on a Linux computer. I currently don't have a Linux computer, so I just wanna make sure everyone's covered. All right, so now we've got it installed. Let's get to designing. 